Hey, what is up you guys? We are back with a new Beyblade X unboxing and today we're checking out one of the hardest Hasbro Beyblade X Wave 2 releases to find so far and that's a Yellow Kong and Helm Knight dual pack. Currently Wave 2 for Hasbro's Beyblade X line, some of the hardest base so far to find in the Beyblade X community. Now if you're looking for any of these Beyblade X bays, go check out baysandbricks.com. Baysandbricks.com is stocking up on their Hasbro releases. They have most of Hasbro Wave 1 along with some of the hardest bays to find in Wave 2. So make sure you guys use code LESSBINBAYS2 at checkout. You get yourself an epic 7% off of everything that is in your cart as up to one big discount right at the end. Now Hasbro's Wave 2 release so far is some of the hardest base to find out of all the Hasbro Beyblade X base to find so far. A lot of people are starting to get stock in their stores for the Wave 1 with some minor glimpses of Wave 2 in their stores. However, the Yell Kong and Helm Knight set right here, this dual pack is one of the hardest sets to find in the Beyblade X community so far. I am just absolutely excited about Yell Kong. It's great to be able to see some new Hasbro exclusives and to add some new avatars and just new base to the Beyblade X collection so far. Despite Yell Kong being a retool essentially of Wyvern Gale, this bay it just looks absolutely amazing in the design. We all have seen the Purple Helm Knight Bay before with the combo of the 580 and the Tapered. It was released previously in the Takeratomi set with the Drawn Dagger deck set along with the Green Mountain Dew Shark Edge. Now the Purple Helm Knight is one of the most popular combos for Helm Knight, one of the most popular color schemes as well. In general stores that sell bays individually from the sets, typically the Helm Knight, this Purple Helm Knight, is amongst one of the ones that's almost always sold out. So finding the Takeratomi Helm Knight outside of simply buying a brand new BX20 with the Drawn Dagger deck set is also a very rare bay to be able to get. So once more, Hasbro did take a big win by putting a very popular bay into a more accessible way of being able to get that bay essentially. But flipping it over and checking out the box. So we have Yell Kong, which once more is a retool of your Wyvern Gale Blade. Now the design of Yell Kong just looks absolutely amazing. I do love it. Just looking at that, the blade molded to look like a gorilla's face just roaring. It just looks absolutely amazing. I absolutely love it. But Yell Kong does come with the 360 and the Gear Ball. Gear Ball is a very aggressive stamina type bit. It's not one of the more popular meta bits to use, but it is fun to be able to use. Now once more we have the Purple Helm Knight with the 580 and the Taper. We have seen this combo before. It is a great and a very solid combo for a Helm Knight Bay. Alright, but I say let's waste no more time. Let's unbox this badass. Let's check out the brand new Hasbro exclusive bay, Yell Kong. All right, but there you guys go. The contents within just right away. Yell Kong. This bay just looks. This bay just looks absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. For those with the Beyblade X app, even though the app has not yet updated, here's the QR code for your Yell Kong to be able to add in there. But the Yell Kong blade. This blade looks absolutely amazing. It's very circular. Very great for a stamina type bay for sure. Now it does not seem to weigh hardly anything at all this seems this is a very 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 light blade which is kind of surprising it does look like it is a lot more bulky when you look at the pictures and when you just look at the bay itself but the blade for yell kong is a very light blade and with yell kong we do have a new recolor of the 360 again the 360 is the most common ratchet made by both hasbro and takara tomi there's just countless recolors but this recolor actually looks pretty good with the orange and the green the 360 Ratchet is a very great Ratchet to have. It's a very competitive Ratchet used in a lot of meta combos. It is just a, just a hands down all around a great Ratchet to have. So it's always good to have a recolor of the 360 Ratchet. And here is our lime green. Actually, it's a dual color. I didn't realize that. That's actually really cool. It's very rare to see a dual color uh, bit. Most of the dual color bits in Beyblade X are reserved primarily for your special BX00 bays such as the Hellsight SPX, the Drawn Dagger, uh, Yamori Giants Recolor, or even bays like Cobalt Drake or all the prize getcha bays they get through the Beyblade X app. So having a dual color 
bit that's the standard release this is this is actually pretty cool i actually like that but this is the gear ball the gear ball is once more it's a decent uh, stamina type bit is very aggressive like i said before so it's not really used too much in most of your competitive play it's just an all around just a fun bit to kind of use for casual play now moving over we do have my favorite one of my all-time favorite base the night shield or the helm night blade this purple recolor was one of my personal favorite recolors that Takeratomi has ever done for Night Shield and it still is one of the best uh, stock combo, random combos that Takeratomi has released and I'm very happy that Hasbro was able to adapt that and bring it in. But once more there is the QR code for those with the Beyblade X app wants to app updates and adds Wave 2 into it. All right, and here is our 580 Ratchet. I love the five Ratchets, both the 580 and the 560 and even the 570. 560 being my favorite Ratchet to use in the game, but this is the awesome recolor of the 580 Ratchet. And lastly, we have the purple tapered bit. The tapered bit is an amazing bit that's very aggressive at the start of the game that kind of levels out into a defensive play near the end of the game to kind of stabilize and increase the stamina. They kind of make it outspin a lot of the other bays. All right, but let's piece these bad boys together. Let's take a look at these bays fully assembled. All right, but there we go. Yell Kong and Helm Knight fully assembled. These bays just look absolutely beautiful. For me personally, seeing Hasbro release such bays that rival the quality of Takeratomi that are the exact same as Takeratomi quality bays, eliminating that pure hate people had for Hasbro during the quad strike and uh, quad drive generations of Beyblade Burst. Seeing Hasbro release bays like this, it's just amazing. And it does personally for me make me just so happy to be able to see that and see them be able to put out Hasbro exclusives that could compete and go up against the Karatomi Bays with no distinct disadvantage. But here is the Purple Helm Knight. Don't really need to go over this bay too much. This bay is just a phenomenal random combo stock that Takeratomi has released with the Drawn Dagger deck set. So it's awesome to be able to have a alternative way of being able to get that without spending $45. Now the main juice of this is the Yell Kong. This color looks amazing. I'm not too big fan of these bright solid colors. It does remind me of Quad Drive. It does remind me of Quad Strikes when Hasbro went completely rogue and just went downhill with the quality of the bays. However, the Yell Kong combo, this combo actually pulls it off very well. Now it is a green and an orange color scheme and the orange in the center with the avatar chip right there and the ratchet, it just accentuates the bay a little bit more. Now the bay as a whole does feel extremely light. I'm actually very surprised, I'm very shocked of how light this bay is in comparison to even the Helm Knight over here, which Helm Knight typically weighs on the average of 41 grams. This does feel a lot lighter. But I say let's get that stadium out there, let's throw these badasses in there, and let's just see how great the new Yell Kong performs in the stadium. Alright, and for this battle we will use the Takeratomi Stadium once more. The best stadium to test out bays in, seeing as this is a stadium that's going to be used primarily in your tournaments. There we go. Now all is said and done when it comes to your Beyblade X bays what they look like on paper and what they look like on the stats and the weight is all irrelevant the way it is is how well they actually perform in the stadium now this is a balance type copy of night shield and yo kong is stamina type this night shield combo or the helm knight combo is a phenomenal combo to have for those just getting into beyblade x this is a perfect combo to have if you love the night shield bay Just putting it side by side with, oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Yell Kong strikes with a burst. There we go. Let's see if we could get something similar. There it is once more. Yell Kong with a burst finish. There we go. We got Tusk Mammoth now. There it is, Yell Kong, my dudes, Yell Kong. 
I could get down with this bay. This has actually surprised me quite a bit. With how light it is in frame, with how thin that blade is, it's actually completely destroying the other Hasbro bays. There we go. Let's see if Yelkong could do it again. It's already, it's already three for four in battles right now. They could tell with the design of Yelkong's blade, he's able to easily kind of reduce the attack power from opposing base. Look at that. It's just draining Tusk Mammoth. That's actually really incredible. That's really great with how round the Yelkong blade is and just how smooth that outside is and how thin it is. It's making it very difficult for base such as Tusk Mammoth to even make contact and be able to provide a significant amount of oomph behind an attack to completely destabilize and destroy him. There we go. Let's bring in an attack type. We got Roar Tyranno. Let's see if Yelkong can take out Roar Tyranno. Oh my god, he is taking Roar Tyranno out. A stamina type defeating an attack type. There we go. Look at Yelkong move. For as light as he is and how heavy Roar Tyranno is for being a Phoenix Wing clone, he's doing very solid against him. Is he taking him out? There he is, he does take another victory. That's impressive. That's very impressive. All right, but there you guys go from Hasbro, the all new Hasbro exclusive, one of the hardest Hasbro bays to find the Yell Kong dual pack with the purple Helm Knight, Knight Shield. This pack is amazing. I absolutely love it, especially Yell Kong. I'm actually very surprised with Yell Kong. That blade being very thin, very light. The combo is just very generic. Yet the combo for Yell Kong actually surprisingly worked very well against some of the other bays, completely bursting them or just completely out maneuvering them in the stamina battle. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys actually think of not just Yell Kong, but the Wave 2 of Hasbro release so far. And what are the bays that you are having the hardest time finding? Now that is everything for this video. Stay tuned. We still got more Beyblade X content coming to Less Than Bays. I do appreciate you guys jumping and supporting my channel. It does mean a lot to me. So thank you guys for that. Now, in the meantime, have yourselves a great night and I'll see you in the next video.